folks just another minute or so to arrive. All right, uh, today's uh, TPV meeting may not be super eventful. Uh, Veer's on a much needed vacation. Dave's out at a conference, learning wonderful new things about GLTF. Um, so for quick updates, I just wanted to uh, let everyone know, yes, WebRTC is still first in line to be promoted to our default release. Uh, Shortly after that uh, would be Atlasaurus, uh, which contains uh, of interest to everyone is uh, some more uh, fixes uh, for PBR and things like this. Um, that is effectively it. All the other mates are just merging and staying up to date. Um, as far as other features, uh, I wanted to see, yep, Cosmic, uh, if you wanted to let folks know about um, some of the work you're doing. Yeah, sure. Um, so um, I'm working on PBR uh, terrain. Uh, I'm working on a feature to allow you to paint on the PBR terrain. Uh, this so. So if you have grass and dirt over there, you can say, I want the grass here and the dirt there. Um, and uh, I'm currently doing some testing uh, testing for uh, paint mat quality. Um, so um, so see, seeing how it compares to our current, current uh, hype map with noise train uh, to, to see, see what we can uh, strike a right balance between uh, quality and uh, performance and bandwidth. Uh, and uh, I will continue working on that for now. Um, that's all that's going on on my end. Let's see who else is here. Uh, Brad, what are you up to? I am eating a salad. Um, no, sorry. <laughs> Um, uh, mostly I have been, uh, wrangling, uh, Git flow process, um, and, and release branches, um, and trying to keep things flowing to get, uh, um, our, our, our release process <clears throat> working the way we want. Uh, so definitely relevant to the WebRTC and Atlasaurus, uh, sequencing question, um, so yeah, I've been periodically pulling the WebRTC fixes into Atlasaurus and then into develop uh, so that um, all of those changes go everywhere. Um, I'm hoping that WebRTC will be sort of the last sort of old style release branch. Um, and from now on, we can do uh, release branches like Atlasaurus, which are a snapshot of, of the develop branch. Um, and then um, stabilization happens in that release branch, but um, fundamentally everything goes into develop and releases are snapshot, snapshots of that that get stabilized. Um, so that's been, uh, well, not necessarily going smoothly yet, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, that and uh, I am looking at future work uh, for some GLTF extensions, but nothing definite there yet. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's it.
all for viewer stuff these days. All right. Thank you, Brad. Uh, just because we had a few other folks uh, join in, just to recap, um, uh, we were discussing WebRTC being first in line for the next release. Um, and, and yeah, Brad addressed some of the questions there with uh, regard to Atlas Saurus always being uh, up to date with the latest WebRTC code in it. I, I think just for everyone's um, uh, edification, we want WebRTC rollout to be as smooth and seamless as possible and have as many uh, of the viewers on it before we promote any server code that supports it, um, or that would be a very disruptive uh, situation to have no WebRTC support on some viewers and then trying to release servers that support only WebRTC. Um, and, and so our goal is to make it as painless as possible. Yes, and that's that's wonderful to hear, Orly. Thank you. Um, and then just in case, Roxy, you wanted to speak any more to the, the details of of current issues in WebRTC that we're trying to smooth out before we promote it. Um, yes, I can do that. <clears throat> and uh, pardon the music in the background of the hotel lobby right now. Um, anyway, so there's just a handful of issues that we really have to fix, um, most of which are in QA. Um, there's an issue where, you know, there's some, there's some uh, transition issues between uh, WebRTC and VBox and you move uh, regions that we're going to fix probably over the next few days. We just put in some uh, crash logging code to make sure we catch issues. Um, and let's see, there's one little issue having to do with peer-to-peer -peer calls. We should be releasing uh, the infrastructure, the server infrastructure shortly that uh, will allow for peer-to-peer -peer ad hoc and group calls with WebRTC. Um, hopefully we're going to start to, to see some of that next week, um, you know, depending on other things. But uh, that will also support VVox as well. So um, all your existing viewers should, uh, should be fine. Um, and that's kind of where we sit. And uh, yeah, if there's any questions, by all means. Thank you very much, Roxy. Uh, that is all the big updates in a nutshell. Uh, I would invite any other uh, Lindens here that wanted to speak to the group uh, to take uh, the opportunity. Uh, otherwise, I think we're open for Q&A. We are um, actively working on bringing 2K support to Big Sun Mesh, but the changes for that are going to involve bringing the appearance utility, which is used for Big Sun Mesh, back into the viewer code base. Um, so that way it should be kept up to date much more easily. Uh, should make it easier to bring PBR to Big Sun Mesh as well. Uh, yeah, thank you for bringing that up, Signal. Uh, it's a good point. I think we very kindly asked when we <laughs> shipped featurettes, uh, please be patient. 2K BOM is coming. 
don't make any onion skin avatars while you're waiting. Thank you, Atlas, for grabbing the question. Yeah, that is the plan. PBR bomb to ship before GLTS Saints. Uh, Ryder is here. You want to speak to Combat 2, Ryder? Sure. Well, uh, Combat 2 is actually already out on the Blue Steel regions. Um, and the, the plan uh, as of this morning is to put it onto the rest of the RCs uh, on next Wednesday. And if, if, so long as there's no uh, great wailing and gnashing of teeth, uh, the full grid uh, the following the following Tuesday morning. If you have a region that you would like to have that you would like to uh, have combat to on, please uh, make a, uh, a support request, and I'm sure they can get you all shifted over. Yeah, that's actually a great uh, opportunity for me to also mention that we are starting kind of a Combat 2.0 community uh, collaboration. And uh, while I realize this is the TPV group, if you know anyone in the Combat Creator space um, who might be interested in collaborating with us, please feel free to share this form with them and around. Um, we are just inviting combat creators uh, to participate. We, we want to spotlight and highlight some great content and communities. Yet Joe, the core combat two, as Ryder said, was shipped. Um, there, there might be uh, features that are added to it, but the MVP for combat two is is wrapped up.
Okay, good. I'm glad that was transient. All right, any other questions? Otherwise, we may have a very short meeting today, which is okay. Chaser, uh, check out uh, Concord and Lexington. Those are both uh, combat sandboxes and should be on combat too. And yes, of course, Chaser, you, you may still apply. So, um, the Linux Vivo work was in the main B branch, which is going to be merging into develop soon-ish. Um, there have been some issues with that merge, uh, but it's it's happening. Um, so we could start work on actually packaging viewer releases again sometime after that. Um, so. Uh, so no specific commitments yet, but I would like to get it out in the next release branch after, um, after Allosaurus. Yeah, very good news to hear that, um, that, uh, that MarchCat B developed branch is, is looking good for you. I, there's some... Other issues that we gotta get nailed down before we can actually merge it, I think. But uh, and we gotta do some QA on it. But but that's the hope. You know, just 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 ship it all out on Friday without, without, uh, without taking time for QA. That never goes wrong. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, I think we might have just been winding down. All right, one last call for Q&A. Otherwise, I think we're at a wrap. I know we have discussed water improvements. I, I couldn't speak to any details to it, uh, regardless of whether or not that's a CCUG question. Yeah, I mean, I know there are, are water issues in the backlog, but I don't know that they're prioritized correctly. Yeah, I, I don't know of anything concrete. However, um, Keen's uh, extension work with uh, 
uh, transmission volume and IOR will uh, certainly be of help uh, should we decide to tackle that work and create an alternative. I mean, I do remember hearing something about that, using mirrors to get water less ugly, but I don't know. Um, yeah, something I don't know either. Meant. There was, so, so I think it was involved like an automatic mirror probe. Yeah, and I don't know how many, like, of those experiments are likely to turn into actual improvements we can ship versus they're just, you know, an experiment. Right, right. I, I just caught your comment in the back scroll, Eris. Yes, I think the world has very recently learned of the risk of releasing to production on Friday. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's fine if you have the canary rollouts and the metrics to, <laughs> to make it safe. Gotta feel bad for those people. Yeah. Uh. Uh, Darl, your question, uh, it's, it's, on, it's still in the design phase. Yes, we would love a make this face a mirror button, um, but I, I, no code has been written to support that. Yeah, uh, what will be coming in the interim uh, is more likely a couple of sample mirrors in the library um, and potentially a button in the build floater that replaces maybe the plants or flowers with a res mirror. But Linden grass isn't going anywhere. Just maybe that button is. <laughs> Those linden trees and plants those are pretty old. That's true. I think I remember somebody saying when we were talking about double-sided support for PBR that foliage was a prime use case for that.
I, there's uh, there's a lot more love for linden trees and plants than I realize. Yeah, okay. The the land impact makes a ton of sense. Ooh, LOD. Mm Yeah, I want to start working to to improve LOD experience. I've been talking to Dave about that. Uh, physics shape, I don't know, but LOD um, is defined as a TLTF extension, so uh, we're going to want to support that. Um, yeah, that's the one uh, which I am looking to implement uh, support for. Um, and uh, hopefully the tools uh, will, primarily Blender, will hopefully uh, generate good LODs for that. Um, but Yeah, the, the the limits are going to have to be uh, something we're going to have to address uh, because um, in the GLTF LOD spec, uh, it's very clearly defined when uh, the various LODs are supposed to be used, I think, based on screen area and only screen area. So uh, things like LOD factor um, might have to go away stuff like that. So uh, that's definitely, yeah, it's definitely going to be a good thing. We've been talking about that kind of stuff for a while now, and I think this may be the push that gets us to actually do it. Yeah, we definitely uh, we've definitely got some work to do for the less powerful hardware um, cohorts. So uh, this could be a good tool to use to help with that. Yeah, I I, th I think supporting the Microsoft LODs extension is definitely going to be a thing at minimum internally in the viewer. Yeah, I mean, I know Dave has talked in the past about we don't want to penalize people who don't make LODs well, but we can't let them cover it up either, right? Like, people will see your bad LODs. Um, and, yeah. Um, so removing the, the, the LOD factor um, features will 
will definitely put those bad LEDs in people's faces. Um, and I don't know. Um, I mean, we don't want to break content, but like, yeah, there will be screams. I don't know what to do about that yet. So, so, yeah. <laughs> People have been hiding the fact that this content is broken for a while. Well, definitely we don't want naked people, so we're, we're definitely going to have to test this well to, to see that. But, yeah. Let's just go for a more harmonious volume of cacophony of screams. How about that? Uh, Remy, per your comment, I would love to see some examples. That is certainly something that we have heard people say, but have not really seen it yet. Thank you. Uh, yeah, great finds, Zanzibar. The marketplace team is already uh, looking at solving that problem one way or another. Because we don't want people to be penalized for having legacy content. I shouldn't call it legacy. I, I should call it pre-PBR content. Plin Fong is here to stay. It has use cases, and it's still here.
Uh, yeah, worthy to the stats question, yes. Uh, we'll have to dig that up. I was thinking neon green and black zebra stripes, but pink and black checkerboard works too.
it was interesting. We saw a handful of non-Linden accounts crashing on ARM systems and bug slap. So there's somebody out there using ARM in Second Life, or trying to. Thanks, Signal.
uh, I, I by no means want to interrupt or divert the great conversation happening in chat. But I think that's probably a wrap for the official portion of the meeting. Uh, thank you, everyone. For those who want to stay around till the top of the hour, please feel free to. Now that we've got that candy filed, Roxy's on it. Roxy's amazing. They'll figure it out, I'm sure.